So what is the difference between a hernia and diastasis recti? In diastasis recti, the connective tissue in the middle of the abdomen has been stretched. It's typically weaker. So if we imagine this as your connective tissue, it's stretched a bit. Maybe it's lost some elasticity. And what can happen is the organs underneath that tissue can push into that connective tissue a bit. Um, so you can have some bulging in the middle of the abdomen. Now, in a hernia, that connective tissue has been compromised, so actually there's a hole. So then organs can push through that hole. Now, although we cannot fix that hole with physical therapy, we can help you to manage that. So some people who have hernias are not surgical candidates. Maybe the hole is very small. It's not really causing them any pain or discomfort. So what we do is we help them to manage pressure in their abdomen so that when they do activities, they're not constantly getting that bulging through that little um, hole, that little spot there. <clears throat> Now in the case of diastasis recti, because that connective tissue is already stretched and weaker often, then you can be more prone to develop a hernia. So when you have diastasis recti, it's very important to address the reasons behind that and it's often related to pressure management. So we need to work on getting your core muscle system working together to help decrease that constant pushing out on that weaker spot and help you manage that better to help prevent you developing from developing a hernia later down the road. And once you've had one hernia, you're more likely to have more unless these things are addressed. So if you have questions about that, please feel free to contact me, april at pelvicbalance.com.